What's up everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video. Hope everyone's having an amazing day. Today's video is going to be pretty interesting because if you guys remember a few videos ago, I did a collection video on one of my busiest locations and in that location I showed you guys that the owner had their old vending machine still in that location in front of my machines. Uh, they were off, they weren't using them and it's been like that for the last three months ever since I've had my machines there and I always ask them like yo do you want to sell the machines and I guess he just didn't want to so they just sat there in front of mine. But finally, a couple days ago, he finally texted me. He was like, yo, we finally want to get rid of the machines. Do you want to buy them? And of course, I said yes. What's the best part, baby? The best part is that we're getting both of those machines, a snack machine and a soda machine, both for 300 bucks. Can you believe that? What? I know the title said free, but in the vending world, two machines for 300 bucks, that's basically free. So the goal for today's video is to go pick up the machines, bring them back here, turn them on to see if they work, because I actually have no idea if they work. But yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If y'all do, drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already. If you guys haven't checked out the second channel, click the link down below. We've been making like couple videos. I surprised my brother for his birthday on a shopping spree. And yeah, with that being said, let's go pick up the machines and let's hope that we got a pretty good deal. You ready? Yeah. Let's do it. All right, so right now my friend is actually on his way. He has a truck and a trailer to help us move the machines because you know, obviously we can't, we don't have like a truck or something. So he should be here any second, but first I do gotta go get the dolly so we can move the machines. So I'll be right back. Now these machines are pretty heavy and surprising. Is this not the right one? No. You can't pick up the machines with this? No, look at that. I'll pick up a machine. You sure? No. You know, you gotta have a little faith sometimes. You can't even carry me in that thing. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Whenever we first started our vending machine business, obviously like this one won't move a machine. But I'm not gonna lie. I thought that one of these dollies was gonna get the job done. And obviously what? it's still not enough. I almost bought one of these to move a machine once. Can you imagine it? This is so short. It is. Compared oh, to yeah, the vending machine. I didn't know. <laughs> now this. Right here is the type of doll that you need to move a vending machine. So I'm gonna get this ready. I mean, it's basically ready. Uh, but we're gonna wait for our friend to come by. He should be here any second, and then we'll go and pick up the machines. All right, everyone, so we just made it to the location where we're gonna be picking up the machines. We got everything ready. We got the dolly, we got the trailer. Again, I'm pretty excited that we got those two machines for 300 bucks. But yeah, we got everything ready, so we're gonna go inside, pull the machines out. Um, actually, come over here. All right, yeah, so again, I have no idea how we're supposed to get those two machines onto this trailer, but I mean, we're gonna go inside, get the machines out, and I guess we'll figure it out once we get them out, no? Yeah. So yeah, let's go inside. We got the dolly, and let's go get the machines. All right, everyone, so we made it inside, uh, but before we actually take the machines out, uh, of course, you guys know these are the machines that we have, and we should have actually brought some stuff, because look at the snack machine. It's looking empty. It is looking pretty empty. We might come back tomorrow to fill up the machine. So this is the first machine that we're taking out. It's a drink machine, and the second one is just a regular snack machine. They're both really good brands. All right, but anyways, everyone, so right now, we're going to go ahead and take out the drink machine first, because it is the heaviest one, and also, you know, it's going to be the hardest one to get into the trailer, so we might as well get it over with first. Just a little bit more <sighs> guys we gotta put we gotta push the machine out through the door because uh, when we put it on top of the dolly it hits the top of the door frame so we had to slide it out all the way down All right, so we finally got the first machine out. We got the sorted machine. Uh, now for the hardest part is to figure out how we're gonna get this machine on top of the, the trailer. Oh, it barely, it barely reaches 
All right, you guys, so we have an idea. It's kind of a dangerous idea, I'm not gonna lie, but if you guys can see, it barely fits on top of the trailer. So we're thinking of just literally pushing it up, but even with us three, that's gonna be kind of hard. Sounds like there's coins in there. Maybe. I already even got the keys. Oh yeah, second machine. We finally got it outside. Um, and guys, if you're gonna be moving a machine, don't do it the way we're doing it. Like, get a pallet jack, cause a dolly makes it so much harder. All right, so again, I can see we do have the first soda machine laying down, and this is what I was talking about. We have this much space next to the other machine, so the question was if this one was gonna fit next to it, and it should. Alright everyone, so there we go. After like 30 minutes and a whole bunch of elbow Ooh. grease, we finally got both machines on top. And now we gotta strap them down and we're good. I'm actually excited to go home and open up the machines because whenever we were pushing the machines in, I heard so much coins inside the machine. So I wonder how much money is inside. I did all the work. <laughs> Alright you guys, so we made it back home. Uh, we got the two machines still on the trailer. We made it back home safe and sound. So now, we're gonna take them off, put them in the garage, and yeah, hopefully it's not too hard to take them down. Yeah. Started from the mud, now you see us going up. Numbers never lie, now you see us blowing up. People use the front, now you see them showing up. Show us up, I've been down and now below. Keep it a buck, I don't Always been one up on all of these They be trying to front for all of these I ain't got time cause they all in they feelings Ice of the gang and we making a killing It's 2020 and they notice the vision You be the hero, I'm playing the villain The underdogs and we walk in the villain We getting money, yeah, they think that we dealing They talking hot, yeah, if they abundance And we won't stop till we all touch a million Don't ever forget, but we probably forgive them I'm living, taking the cause that was given My blessings is already Damn Put all those coins for? Yeah. They're still going. Alright guys, so we are finally done. There's the water. Right. So before before you actually leave, how much are you? It don't matter, man. Whatever. Nah, it's giving them out and I got you. So favor, you know what Say whatever, so a dollar's fine? Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I mean I don't got change, so like it's all once, but I mean it's 120. Yeah. That's, that's cool. cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, there it is. Again, bro, appreciate it. You came in clutch. I had to get those machines today. You guys saw they were pretty much free. So if I didn't get them, somebody else was gonna get them. So he came in clutch. A few moments later. I think I'm too heavy. Here, get on. I wanna see if I can, if I can pick you up with it. All right, quick disclaimer. Do not try this at home, all right? All right, yes, yeah, so just stand there. Put the belt on. Safety first. I feel like it tied in. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it has to be tight. All right, do you trust me? No. You don't? No, I'm just kidding, yeah. I'm not gonna drop you, trust. You ready? No. You ready? No, no. Trust no, me, no. you have to trust me. You're not gonna fall, all right? Don't. I'm not gonna drop you. I'm not gonna drop you. Come on. <laughs> you see? Should've brought a pillow. Whee! Alright, get off. <laughs> guys, also now that we're here, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the garage looks completely different ever since we did that one video where we brought all the shelves and drinks in the garage. If you guys haven't seen that video, go check it out. Uh, but basically the shelves used to be like, like this, like in rows. And we basically put them against the wall just because they were taking up way too much space. But honestly, I think it looks better like this. What do you think? I like it. I feel like it's uh, an easier access. Yeah, it's so much easier. 
All right, everyone, so we are finally done bringing in the machines. You guys can see we have them already set up in the garage, and this is it. These are the machines I was talking about. They look clean. Well, not really, but <laughs> these are... But anyways, just like I said at the beginning of the video, I have no idea if these machines actually work, if they turn on, what they have inside. Actually, I don't even know if I can open them. I know this one is locked for sure. Yup, like this. Yeah, so it's actually open, but it still has the lock. So I'm still gonna have to drill this one out either way. It has the bill acceptor where the bills go, but it doesn't have like the actual box <laughs> that collects them. So they'll just like fall out. There's no coin mic either. Oh yeah, there's no coin mic. There's no bill acceptor, there's no coin mic. I'm gonna be honest, I wonder why. So who knows if this one even has the, the coin mic also. You guys can't really see it because of the reflection, but there's like a bunch of peanut butter crackers at the very back. Ew, like the crumbs? <laughs> no, like it's in the package. Oh. That's weird, that's the only thing that's in there. I really want to know when these are expired. You want to guess? Um, oh my god. Two years ago. This thing is almost four years expired. Really? January the 9th of 2017. Almost four years that this drink is expired. If this video gets 10,000 likes, my girlfriend would drink this expired soda. Amina, Amina. <laughs> I mean, you guys know I don't drink soda. Otherwise, I would. I don't drink Pepsi. What about the diet ones? Ew. And I was hoping that there was money inside, but there's nothing in the coin box. It looks like the only drink that's in there is Diet Pepsi, so I guess we knew what people didn't like. That's <laughs> weird, because in that location, we sell Diet Pepsi. We do! And it does good. Alright, everyone, for the moment of truth, to see if the soda machine turns on, my girlfriend's going to plug it in, and we're going to see if it works. Three, two, and one. Um. Oh, I hear it. That's the freezer. No, it's not. What? Oh, look. <gasps> oh, Wait, it, it turned on. Oh my God, it actually turned on. <laughs> That's crazy. I was really expecting for the machine not to turn on. I was worried that I was going to have to buy a whole brand new compressor because it wouldn't turn on, but it does. So everyone, cross your fingers and I guess we'll wait like 20 minutes and see if it gets cold. Dang. Right when I said that, the machine turns off. Is it on? No. It's not? No. So the, the little outlet thing is on, but for some reason the machine doesn't turn on anymore. All right, but anyways, now for the snack machine, I'm gonna go ahead and drill out the lock, open up the machine, and hopefully this one works. I'm not gonna even jinx it no more. <laughs> I don't know if you guys noticed, but we did get a new drill compared to the other one because people were making fun of me because the other one was not wireless. So Really? Yeah. So what about now? They're going to say it's not as powerful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the cheapest one we could find. I got it. Hey. Guys, we got the lock open. Wait, actually, I didn't drill out the lock. Like, the lock is still inside, but this thing opened up. Now you gotta check what's inside. All right, let's see. All right, guess this coil was waiting to get out. <laughs> I opened up the machine, and I saw what was inside, and you're gonna want to see this. What is it? It's, got, not, it's not alive, is it? No, it's not alive. Okay. Just check it out. I'm gonna just open it, and look at this. Whoa! Look at all that. Dang! Guys, look at all those quarters. And it's all quarters. It's not even like... Yeah, it's all quarters. There's no dimes or nickels. I see it has a... The coin mech. I can't make this up. I literally cannot make this up. What? Guys, that, that that's actually a promise. I put it on everything. <gasps> no! 
<laughs> no way. What? I can't believe that. That is so crazy. We found like 15, 20 bucks in quarters and that's crazy. Like I'd say in all the coins and all the bills, we probably got like a hundred bucks. So I basically just paid 200 bucks for these two machines, which makes it even better. All right, everyone, so real quick, I'm sorry for all the noise. It's actually raining pretty hard outside, so I'm sorry. Uh, but anyways, I just counted all the money. It was $119 in just bills. So basically, I was telling my girlfriend that we haven't done a giveaway in a long time. So I was like, you know what? Let's give the money away. I mean, we found the money inside the machine, so why not just give it away to one of you guys watching the video? So if you want a chance to win, comment down below your favorite snack or your favorite drink, it doesn't matter. But also make sure to comment down below your Instagram as well, so whenever I pick a winner, I can message you on Instagram and let you know that you won. Good luck to everyone. I know it's not a big giveaway, maybe in the future I can give away something bigger. But again, I haven't done a giveaway in a while, so again, good luck to everyone and go down below and leave a comment. Oh wait, I didn't check the coin box. Nah, two coins. Probably what was in there. It just fell out. Anyways, let's take a look at the snack machine. This one obviously looks a lot cleaner than the soda one, so this one, it might work. You know, who knows? Yeah, look at this. The switch is off, so I'm gonna flick the switch. Look at that. It worked! And look at that. Ready to go. The display works too. Grandma cookies? Grandma cookies. There we go. Whoever wins this money, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to borrow a dollar to see if it, actually two dollars. I don't know how much it's gonna be. 50 cents. Dang. I guess just one dollar. Is it gonna accept it? And it took it. It took the dollar. So far, so good. Again, now I'll press selection 23 and let's see if the coins work. Come on, spin. Yes, it works. Let's go. <laughs> the machine works. And it gave me back my change. Look at that. So it looks like the soda machine doesn't work. I have no idea what it could be. I'm gonna have to like mess with it and see if I can figure it out. It could be something simple. It could be something hard. But 100%, we know the snack machine works, so that's good. I have a location that wanted machines next week, so I might use the snack machine. But anyways, there you guys go. We went out, we got both machines. You know, we found out which ones work, which ones don't. We paid 300 bucks for both machines. We found 100 bucks inside. And of course, like I said, we're gonna be giving that money away to one of you guys. All right, but anyways, everyone, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you guys did enjoy, drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Something we didn't expect actually happened. You know, we found money in the machine, which again, like I said, one of you guys is gonna be winning the 119 bucks. So again, go down below, comment if you haven't already. But yeah, anyways, hopefully I can get those two machines 100% working because I might have a location for those machines next week. So if I do get them to work, then of course I'll make a video of me dropping off the machines, filling them up, and all that good stuff. But again, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I'll see you guys in the next one, and peace out.